when uh, did you realize that there are some problems in Wasabi that nobody is addressing and that you have a potential to fix? I mean, in, in using it, right? Like, to me, it just made no sense to not have mobile capability. Um, doing some overseas travel, it made so much sense to me, just abundantly clear if you're in a different country or moving between places that use different currencies that you want to be able to take that with you on the devices that you're going to have with you or be able to at least interact that way, not necessarily uh, rely on your security that way. So that was like, that was the major flaw I'd witnessed. And then just being in the Tumblebit chat, seeing what users complain about and talking to them, um, seeing the criticism come in as well. I think, you know, there's, there's founded and unfounded criticism, but the biggest issue is it's just hard to use, right? You still can shoot yourself in the foot. Um, hopefully 2.0 fixes that. Yeah, so those are, I think, the, the two big problems that you really hit hit on the head. One is that, uh, you know, the, the desktop reliance. Uh, that's, I mean, both, you know, a, just a regular feature of being a desktop wallet, but also, of course, a hindrance. Now, again, as I said in the intro, I should have counted the number of times that Nopara told me that a mobile wasabi is impossible. <laughs> so w what was the reasons why he was so skeptical. Why do you think, did he think that this is an almost unsurmountable task? Well, I think he was right because it took me, I don't know, four or five months, probably. It wasn't full-time work at that time, but it was like something I was hammering away on to to figure it out. Um, the biggest reason that he probably thought that was impossible is because the Tor project, the people funded by the Tor project to build something into iOS, weren't able to build it into a VPN. There were memory limitations. And then the thing they actually came out with uh, could only be run on a single thread because you can't fork a process in iOS, um, at least not not like Tor, something that would just run alongside the application. So there are serious technical constraints that Apple places on you um, within iOS. And I, we're still facing them, definitely. Um, it's not... Like the beta product is not as stable as Tor on the desktop is, but I think we've come to a place where it's usable and that's what's most important. 